hello good people welcome back to my channel today we are going to be unboxing a couple of melt mystery boxes they put them both in the same box but we definitely have two in here so if you're interested in seeing what there was what was in the black friday melt mystery box the 25 dollar and the 75 dollar just keep on watching welcome back to my channel so let's go ahead and get cracking they sent it in this little both boxes and this little uh box from the it is the burnett collection which you can see real clearly come on sarah read <laughs> uh, but it is the burnett collection i didn't get any of the little stickers or the lot the uh, mariposa card and i don't know if it's because i already have a lot of this las mariposa collection which i got uh, a little bit before this i got the eyeshadow palette a couple of the eyeliners i'm wearing the eyeshadow palette today i didn't put on the eyeliner i don't know what was going on in my head i just wanted to match my shirt i'm wearing purple so i just used the purples out of it i love purple um which i think i'm going to be happy because i know that there's a purple palette in here because i am impatient and i always look at my boxes anyhow but let's go ahead we're going to start with the $25 box or bag or whatever huh? bubble wrap do you hear the popping yay nice okay so satisfying all right so we're gonna go with a little small one and we're gonna go with the very first thing we have a supernatural lash mascara i've never used this mascara it is from the beetlejuice collection which i'm still mad that i missed i still have the fomo over missing out on the beetlejuice collection because beetlejuice is like the coolest movie ever but this is the mascara i'm not going to take it out i don't want to like mess up the mascara because i know as soon as you open it like a little timer starts <laughs> three months from then is when you have to use it up and i hate that makeup expires like that but it does so we're gonna put this aside so first we got the mascara and then next we have a lip color in the shade rebound and i'm gonna open her up I love the little box it came in, by the way. See all those little lips on there? <laughs> so cute. All right. And then this is the component. Ooh, that's a pretty color. That's a very pretty color. This one is beautiful. And I'm going to take it out. You seeing me? I'm here taking it out. That's the color. That would actually go better with what I'm wearing today than what I'm wearing. Should I put, pop a little on? Oh, it smells good. Like um, vanilla cupcakes or something is what it smells like. I keep looking at the lips. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm still missing my tooth. That That's going to be fixed hopefully before Christmas and I can have for Christmas my two front teeth again. I'm thinking about changing my name of my channel again because all I want for Christmas is like two front teeth. But then that would be stupid because then after my teeth are back, then it's just going to be like, why is that the name of her channel? <laughs> so um, very next, we have one of these sex foils. Mine is in the shade Fetish. Can you see that? There's so much glare off my ring light. And there's a lot of light coming in. I'm using a lot of natural light and a mirror to reflect um but yeah there's a lot of natural light in this room let's take a look at this component Ooh, look how classy oh my gosh it's glass too man that's super nice like it'd be beautiful you know i i would love i would hope to to say that i would use it but it would be so pretty to sit just on like a vanity i don't know if i should be using this because it's like a body shimmer so yeah i don't want it to dry out but this is like a little dabble of it and it's blending into my skin pretty good but it, oh wow that's like super pretty 
that's like a nice little wet glow oh so beautiful you are so beautiful sorry nobody asked me to sing i'm a dork all right so that is really extremely beautiful and i am thrilled with that what a good value and there's one more thing in here and i'm stoked about it this is the she's and parties palette the two palettes that i wanted and that i was looking at and this decided not to get because i was going to get the mystery boxes because i wanted to open them on my channel was this she's and parties palette which is a purple palette and i love purple and the bergen burnett palette burgundy almost said burgundy the burnett palette which is in the other one which i just spoiled it for you which keep watching there's other stuff in there this is the palette the she's in parties palette isn't this absolutely gorgeous it's like a pinky purple kind of there's a nice burgundy-ish purple in there beautiful beautiful palette i am beyond excited to have this now i originally got these two mystery boxes hoping that i could like take some of these out and give them as christmas gifts to family members but then when i saw all of what was in them by watching other people's reviews <laughs> then i was like oh, i kind of don't know what i would give to other people because i don't have very much melt products but for 25 dollars this is like, I think, a hundred and something dollars worth of product that came in a little $25 box, which, I mean, you pay shipping if you just did the $25 and taxes and all that. But still, it is a really good value. You're not going to get near, even with shipping, and if it was all that you got, and the taxes, you're still not going to get up to the amount that you, that's the value that's in this box. You're still not gonna pay that much. So it is incredible value. That's why I love mystery boxes. That's what I started my channel for is because I just love mystery boxes and I just wanted to be able to open up mystery boxes, I think. I think it was like my secret desire to be able to produce videos where I open mystery boxes because I enjoy videos watching people open mystery boxes so much. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I'm super excited. It's not like where with JFC, JSC, I have so much of it already that I would need to, you know, sell everything. But they do have some for Christmas. So if you missed out on the Black Friday boxes, don't despair. You can still go and get a $25 mystery box for Christmas, which will have different items in it than what's in this one. And you know what? I am seriously considering getting the other one because, I mean, this is ex this is exceptional. So, and you know, I have a bonus and maybe there will be products in the other one that I won't, I don't know. Like maybe I'll get some repeats and then have to have some really nice palettes to hand out to my family because which, you know, is something I would love. So it wouldn't be the end of the world to me if I got something I already had because I do have some melt palettes, clearly. <laughs> So, and now I have more. Um, but let's go ahead and get cracking on the $75 one. So for $75, you could see the Burnett palette sticking out because my nosy ass had to open it up and look at it. But this is the packaging. And we're gonna open it first because it's the one that I've already, like I just went for it, you know, I just had to see it. So this is the Burnett palette, beautiful palette. And these palettes are not cheap palettes. They are like $65 palettes. Let me take this off so you can see purple one have one of these or did I already take it off I don't know but that is the Burnett palette just lovely it is like a basic palette but I am a basic B I like the basic B palettes now I do like color but I have been falling on basic times <laughs> the more I am venturing out into the world it's funny because it seems like I'm getting back into neutral looks and, and, and basic looks. And I'm, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's perfectly fine. And I've been eyeballing this palette for a while. So I am, there's not a word to describe how excited I am to have these two palettes, the She's in Parties and the Burnett palette. I'm just beside myself with joy. <laughs> and um, the next little thing, which is about to fall out of the package, is this little lippy 
Now, I don't usually do stick lipsticks very often. I do like the way they look, so I will collect them for looks. So I, you may see some in my stuff because I like the way they look. So there are some in my collection. Um, but this is the little component. It's just small little component. And the color is the same outside of as the outside of the packaging. Um, so yeah, and then this is what it looks like. And you, I could catch the light just right. You would see that there is um, inflection, like, let me just decline. Um, I'm filming on my phone. I still film on my phone and I had to decline that call. So I apologize. So again, this is the lippy. Um, there are like etching of writing on here that just is like melt cosmetics and stuff in really beautiful script on the sides of the lipstick. So it's really pretty. Um, I don't know that this is going to probably be too pale for me. I don't know. What do you guys think? It smells really good too. I don't know. I might keep it. I don't have any. Oh, and it's got the magnetic component too. So that's always nice. It says you won't fall out in your purse and get lipstick everywhere. So that's cool. Uh, I am not sure whether or not I'm going to keep this. It's a cute color. I just don't know if it. Well, you know what? I don't really have a whole lot of nudes outside of like a couple of Jeffree Star nudes. Um, because in my opinion, those are the best. What is going on? I got something sticky on my melt palette already. What? I'm destroying things, guys. Take it away from me. Take it away from me. All right. And then there's a matching lip liner. I don't know if it's the exact same color. No, this one looks a little bit more orange than the lippy. But there's a little lip liner called the Perfectionist Lips Pencil. And what color is this? Cashmere. Did I say what the color of this was? This one is laced for this. And this one is cashmere. So, yeah. And it's a matte. This is a matte lipstick. And I believe this is a matte pencil. But let's take a look at the pencil that's what she looks like very very brownie nude but i mean these both would look beautiful with that burnett palette so you know we love a basic bitch moment in this house because because why not all right and let's see so there are there's a lot in this bag there's a lot. Now this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. We got another sex foil. This is a different color and this is much more of an orange coppery color, which um, I don't know if this would work on me. I am so pale. I don't know that this would work. It may, but I, I'm kind of scared to take it. But the name of this one is Afterglow going with the sex theme, I suppose. But I'm thinking, I have a sister-in-law that absolutely loves glitter and shimmer, and I think she would get a kick out of this. She has um, a more pigmented skin tone than me, so she would look beautiful in this. So I'm thinking I am going to set this aside for her. So we'll put that over there, but that's, that's awesome. Like, those are beautiful. They're just absolutely beautiful. There's so much left in this bag. For $75, are you freaking kidding me? All right. Now, there are three eyeliners. And I'm going to open them. Uh, let's see. Which is this? This is an all-day, everyday liner. And I... It is in the shade Baked. It looks like it's got like a little pot leaf on it. So it might be from the one of the 420 collections. Because they release little um, collections every, every 420. Uh, and that's the color. It's very, very light. 
And like a lot of the other people who did reviews, I wonder if these could be used as lip liners, uh, but I don't know. Like it might be really good under the eye. I love to put a good eyeliner under the eye. Clearly I put a good eyeliner under the eye all the time. That's better than to me. Like I've tried the like the eyeshadow under the eye thing and it looks cute, but I always end up like smearing it or you know brushing it away and then just ending up with an eyeliner on there anyhow so this is a really cool color for that i don't know whether or not i already have this color i do have a ton of eyeliners i am the queen of eyeliner in this part of town i'm sure the next one is uh what does it say all day every day but it is an all day every day just like the other one. This one is in, oh, come on, something rose. Maybe this is the rose gold one because everybody got the same thing. So basically I got the same as everybody else. But if you hadn't seen the videos because you were patient, unlike myself, then you this will be a nice surprise to you. All right, so yeah, it looks like it's a pretty like rose gold color. And it's kind of got like a little shimmer to it. So that's beautiful. I will swatch it. I guess it's pretty safe to assume that I'm going to keep these, huh? There we go. That's that one. And I'm just going to pop that back in there. And then this last one is in Dusk. It looks like it's a copper color. Let's take a look at this one. Ooh, this is very copper. So let's put it next to the little rosy gold one. Can you see that? There's so much, my hands are so white that I cause like my skin being so white causes like such reflection issues That's what happens when you're ultra white guys like see-through skin flashback without even trying so yeah that's that's really pretty i really really enjoy that in the uh the other one the the third one i'm not i'm on the fence about that one but these two with a little bit of like something else going on with them i like they kind of remind me i do have another shiny eyeliner i don't even know if i used this yet it looks like i've used it so that's a shiny eyeliner that i got from other some other brand so yeah i mean I do like the shimmer. Uh, I thought I had one from Tarte, but it's a dark color, I believe. It's not, it's actually probably Tarte's sister brand. I forget what that's called. But did I use this one? Yes, I've used this one. And I think it's a shimmer too. There's that one. So I do like some good brown eyeliners. I think I could probably give away that, the third one, the just regular one, because I just have so many. I have a lot of eyeliners. I like eyeliner. All right, so that's that for the eyeliners. Let's move on to the next thing. So we're gonna be doing eyeliners all day. <laughs> we're already at almost 20 minutes. All right, so we got another Supernatural Lash Mascara. Super cool. Another lippy. This one is in B movie, like a B, not like the B movie, but like a B movie, which is kind of funny to me because aren't B movies not as like high profile and all. Now this is a pink, like a hot, hot pink. And I want to make sure that this thing is not broken in it because I might be giving this one away and I don't want it to be broken. But y'all will be seeing me open it on here. I just don't want it to be a broken product. So we're opening it on camera. And it's not. And it's pink. It's very, very pink. 
I don't know if I will because I've opened it. I've pulled the wand, but I wanted to make sure that it wasn't broken. We'll see. I didn't put this one at all on my lips. B-movie might still be a gift to somebody else. So yeah, we might just pop that to the gift pile. And then we got two more products in here. And one of them is a, is this a highlight bronzer type duo? So that I love a good highlighter bronzer moment, like the um, cavity palette. I love that palette. It's, I use the, it as bronzer and highlighter combo type thing. So this is the color. I don't know. This might be too gold for my little pale butt. Is that too like warm for me? That looks like very warm. I think that's very warm for me. So we might just, we might pass this one along. I think this one might be a good gift. It is beautiful though. That is freaking beautiful. Like I'm dying to try their pressed highlighters. I'm dying to try them. But I think that this is too gold for my cool tone self. And somebody who doesn't have see-through skin might benefit from it a little bit better. Look at the rounded top. That is like little slight attention to detail. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna put this one for sure in the giveaway pile as well. So that's a couple of things. And then last but not least, we have a cream blush light, is what they're calling it. Okay. And I love a good cream blush. And it's got the slightly rounded dome type top as well. Let's see, where does it open? I think I'm I think I've convinced myself I'm gonna get the Christmas ones too. <laughs> <laughs> just making so more stuff to give stuff give away i love giving good products away all right and that is the color it is very orange but i know it can be blended out because i've seen like i've said I've, i'm nosy oh it smells just like the lip stuff the vanilla cupcake scent oh yes but um it can be blended out very well i've seen it being blended out on somebody on other videos that i've watched it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so this one this particular box was worth over 200 something dollars i believe so you got three eyeliners the blush the bronzer the sex foil the lippy uh mascara liner lipstick and another palette so let me just show you in my hands all of what you got so this is all came in the 75 dollar box that is an extremely exceptional value for this box i am beyond impressed i am thrilled about that let me make sure that i put the right ones aside because we're going to put some of those in a giveaway pile yeah for sure for sure and I'm, i think i put one of these mascaras in there too should i i really shouldn't have two mascaras i'm sure um and the lippy the pink lippy will be in there too i'm not on the fence about these but even even me just keeping these particular items still worth the 75 dollars because this palette on its own was like super expensive not 75 dollars but 60 almost i think if not 60 it, it was up there it was it was something it, it was it is on sale both of those palettes are on sale right now but even still it was more you know i get a blush a lippy and two eyeliners i mean like and a lip liner i mean that's that's fantastic out of like if that's all i kept out of that box it would still be beyond worth it for me plus the biggest reason i got it was because i wanted to have something to open on my channel because i haven't been very active on this channel and i'm trying to change that and hopefully next year we're going to be a whole lot more active and i wanted to be able to have something to give like whatever i didn't use give away to my loved ones because 
what's the point in having things if you can't share them with loved ones? So, yeah. Well, anyhow, we have talked on for 24 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to be doing more of these and I think I've convinced myself I do get a bonus this paycheck. I may, if I have enough after I've paid some stuff off, if I still have a little bit of money left over and able to get the things that I need for my daughter and her daddy, then I think I might get those other two boxes because I can add what I don't use like two Christmas gifts and then get some more melt stuff myself. I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. I hope you enjoyed it. So stick around. We should have some more stuff coming in the next couple of weeks. Not sure what exactly because I didn't, I'm not doing Ipsy this month. I just stopped so I could focus on things like this. So there should be more stuff coming though. And I will keep you guys updated, please. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe while you're here and turn on the notification bells because I'm all over the place. I'm going to try to post once a week still till the end of the year. Um, teeth, you'll get updates on it as we go. I, I've got an appointment for next week to get this other um, temporary crown put on and hopefully the molds made for permanent for both of these teeth. So I might have my both of my two front teeth by Christmas. Fingers crossed. Keep the prayers alive for me because I'm so tired of being the toothless person. <laughs> so yeah, um, so if you want, or if you're interested in following that journey as well, then just subscribe and turn on the notification bells because I'm all over the place and we never know when I will post. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. And if you're new, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day and a blessed holiday season. Peace out, homies. Bye-bye.